Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and we all know what happens on Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers. And if you were as excited about this as I was, you'll probably have a permanent hole in your ceiling, because I jumped so high when I just read this container. Oxygen, oxygen, yes, we've got oxygenized, oxygenized, oxygen, oh my god, I'm so excited, I can't even pronounce the word correctly. So we've got environments that allow us to input oxygen in, and this allows us to take our helmet off. But first, let me explain the blocks and explain exactly what they do. So there's been a new ore added, and I think this is the most important part to start with, and this is called ice. So we can pick up ice here, and you can see it's that sort of whitey, crystallized sort of effect. And if we go into our menu, we can actually have a look at the blocks we've got new. So the first one is an oxygen tank. The second one here is the oxygen generator. And finally, we have the air vent. So here's the oxygen tank itself used to store the oxygen. And as you can see, we've got a green light and the more it works a bit more like a battery. So the filler that is, the more green lights it'll actually have. And the oxygen generator processes the ice and turns it into oxygen that is then stored in the tank. Finally, the air vents allow us to pressurize and depressurize the environment. So first off, let's actually have a look at one of these pressurized environments. So within this sort of clear glass container, we have the system set up and I'll show you exactly how that works by going on inside. So we've actually got a functioning airlock now. And if I go through here and I forget to close this door, you'll notice that all this air is sucked out. It doesn't make much effect because I've actually got a suit on at the moment, but that would actually cause severe damage if I didn't. So you can see how it's pumping oxygen into this room with this nice little particle effect. And you can see it's on full output. Now if we close the airlock back up, we can actually go over and take off our helmet. So we're going to go to the med bay, press T, and select the suit with no helmet. So what does he look like? I'm going to turn him slowly. And there he is. He looks very similar to the medieval engineer's character. He's got a bit of a beard. He's a bit of a veteran of maybe some engineering sort of creations. You can see he's got his beard. He, he knows what he's doing. Maybe one day you could even stick your own face on there. That'd be Maybe that'd be a bit too creepy. But he still looks really cool. So behind us, here is the system. We have the air vent followed up by the processor here. And the oxygen tank here itself. Very cool indeed, and you see how it's processing that out. Now, they have a number of features, each of these sort of options, so let's actually go into this second room, and what we're gonna do is look at the features of the air vent. So we're gonna click on here, and the first feature that you'll see is press depressurization. So if we tick that, you'll notice it turns blue and it starts to suck air back into the air vent. So this depressurizes the room and takes the oxygen either into another room or back into the tank. Very cool. And you can see how it's pulsing down as it's clearing the oxygen out of the room. And if I close this door, it'll actually close and take the oxygen out of this room very fast. And you'll notice on the right of my hood, there is an oxygen icon that says none. So if I click that again, watch the hood icon depressurize and repressurize this cabin and now it's on high output so this area is pressurized once again and if I was in survival I would have probably died because I've not got a helmet on at all so let's go and put my helmet back on and we'll venture back outside so here we go I'm gonna stick the suit helmet on and we can go back outside but first off we're gonna have a quick look at some of the settings of the oxygen generator and the other things we'll access it through here so if we head down, we've got the oxygen generator. Not too many options here, and the oxygen tank has the stockpile option. Now this allows us, instead of using that tank, to take this, and it will just fill up the whole of that oxygen tank with actual oxygen itself and not use it around the station. Just an interesting alternative if you want to stockpile a lot of oxygen, maybe for a later sort of engagement. So we'll, once again, not close our airlock correctly, and we'll have all of that sort of oxygen sucked out into space really cool a really cool effect now let's repressurize this area and i want to show you some of the features of this so this oxygen system is not a simple system if a piece of glass or something is broken you'll notice how it is all sucked out the air now there's a few things that don't work and do work that i've been testing so first of all if you have a situation like this where we have a block that is placed here you'll notice that the oxygen level inside the cabin goes back up so you can see how it's going back up to green but there is blocks that don't have the ability to actually keep oxygen in so we've got a metal grated window here so let's just use that vertical piece and we're going to place that up against the wall and you'll notice how 
no oxygen pressure actually builds up because this is a vented sort of window and there's no way that the air can actually pressurize up against this maybe in future there'll be an option to close these things or something but we can actually replace that with a block that will fill the oxygen back up in the room and you can see how the green lights have gone back to full so really cool indeed now there is a few problems you'll notice it's not really a problem it's just the how realistic they've got this system so you need to be careful with it so say i build a conveyor tube like that even though that takes up a whole block worth of space since there's gaps in the side you'll notice that the air can actually create a seal around that so that's just really cool and you really have to build and start to take in consideration how you're going to build these items around it to seal the air in that compartment so let's actually go inside the station that i made so I've made this little station just to demonstrate it a little bit further. And I originally thought there might be some sort of range to the oxygen and the environment itself, how it would produce that environment. But this is quite a large sort of cabin. And you can see that it's well pressurized. You simply walk in, take off your helmet, take on your suit. There we go. Got a nice bearded little face out again. And we can head downstairs and we can see this system set up. We've got two oxygen storage tanks. And this is a great way of actually seeing the plumbing as well as actually covering up this problem because you'll see here now if i take this away you'll see how it depressurizes the environment and it would kill me so if i get my glass back out and we place another sheet over there this actually fills up the holes that are around the pipe so it's just something i've been using to actually work around that so i'm going to need a smaller piece of glass place that back over there anyway let's have a look at some of the other features so the next thing I want to show you is a little bit of an update to the sorting block. Now previously we had to build a fake pull like this. So to pull blocks from here into this crate, you'd have to build this overly complicated system. Now if we go over to this block, this is the simple setup that they've allowed us to introduce. And you look on the blacklist here and whitelist, you can see how we can actually connect. But we have this option called drain all. So this actually works like that fake option. So if we go to whitelist and we select we want it to drain all ammo into the other crate and we add that to the list. What will happen now is all the ammo in that crate will be drained without the unnecessary sort of application of both the connector and the connection blocks here to suck them in just a lot more simpler and more effective anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time i can't wait to see just what we do with these oxygen sort of environments maybe in the future it could have some sort of effect to the pressurization of that cabin maybe it could suck off more from the wall like if an object was destroyed like so maybe it'd rip out the windows or rip out sort of things that are in the interior i don't know maybe it would suck the player out that'd be really cool anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time